Hi, I'm Sylvia and this is my abuela and we're from Abuela's Kitchen. Today we're cooking with Abuela, a very traditional holiday dish called menudo. Today we're using beef honeycomb tripe, beef scalded tripe from Rumba Meats. The vacuum sealed package is convenient. It keeps the meat fresh longer. It's easy to open and eliminates messes. Pues vamos a hacer un menudito con carne de con menudo de rumba mix y vamos a ocupar una cebolla, ajos, limones, chiles. Le pueden poner chiles California o chiles anchos o de los que quieran. Cilantro, sal, orégano y tapatío para echarle al plato. Ya cállate, vamos a cocinar. Pues a cocinar. So now we're gonna cut up the tripe into little squares, maybe about an inch square each. The traditional menudo have scalded tripe and honeycomb tripe as well. So we're using four pounds of the scalded and four pounds of the honeycomb tripe. The reason why we're using so much is because when we make menudo, we gather as a family with our extended family members. So this recipe is really for about 15 to 20 people, just depending how big their bowl is. What we love about rumba meats is that it's always fresh and never frozen. If you don't cut off the fat from the tripe, then it'll make your menudo a little more greasier than it usually is. As you can tell, the honeycomb is different than the scalded tripe. So they're obviously different textures, and one of them is a little more tender than the other. We have to devein the chili pods and de-seed them, and also take off the stems. We're gonna let it boil for about 10 minutes, and we'll blend it after that and set it aside. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your pot halfway with water and you're gonna add your tripe, four pieces of garlic, and some salt. We're adding about two tablespoons into the pot, but it's personal preference. Le vamos a poner cuatro ajos y una cebolla entera. While the tripe is cooking for the next few hours, what we're gonna do is prepare our garnishes for when it's actually done, we can enjoy it right away, nice and hot, straight out of the pot. So everything's been cooking for about three hours. Now the way to tell if it's done is to actually touch the meat if you have the guts, because it is gonna be really hot. And if your fingers press right through the meat, that means it's done. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sauce, if you would like your menudo to have more broth, then you can add water at this time. Ours looks uh, like it needs a little bit, so we're gonna add a little bit, just to make sure that all the meat is covered. The traditional menudo does not contain hominy, but I would prefer adding hominy. So at this time is when you can add it if you'd like. We're gonna cover the menudo and we're gonna let it cook together for about 30 to 40 minutes and you're done and it's ready to serve. Nos vamos a comer este plato de menudo de rumba mix y lo vamos a arreglar bien bonito, miren. Se le pone su cebollita. Le vamos a despedazar un, unos pedacitos de este porque así nos gusta pues a nosotros, mm -hmm. para que enchile algo. <laughs> With a little bit of time and the right ingredients, creating menudo doesn't have to be too difficult. Hopefully your smells and tastes just as delicious as my abuela's recipe. Until next time. Hasta la próxima. Adios. Adios.